Alrighty. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rust console edition video. In today's video, I'm going to try and help you guys find guns in Rust as quickly as possible. As new players in this game, you've probably learned by now that getting guns is pretty important to help you to progress and to protect you against all the bad dudes, which is pretty much everyone. So the tips that I'll share with you today will hopefully help you guys to get started. And the way that we're gonna do it is we're going to talk about the four most common ways to find guns in Rust on console. So stick around and I'll show you each method and the benefits or challenges that you might face from each of them, which will help you to decide what will work best for you and your gameplay style, and hopefully help you to progress quickly in the cruel, cruel world that is Rust on console. In my opinion, from the easiest to the hardest, this is how to acquire weapons in Rust on console. Number 1. The easiest. Collecting scrap along the road while looting crates and buying a researchable weapon from the outpost. Number 2. Looting simple monuments such as the harbour, mining outpost or Oxum's gas station. Number 2A. Looting the complex monuments such as the dome, launch site, sewer branch or satellite. The reason that I've classed these as complex monuments is either because they require some sort of puzzle to get to the good loot crates, or they require certain armor to enter while avoiding getting severe radiation poisoning. Number 3. Looting certain events in the game, such as supply drops and the Chinook crate. And finally, number 4, and potentially the most enjoyable of the four, is killing other players and stealing their shit. As a special mention, there is one other way to get guns in Rust on console, and that is to kill the patrol helicopter or Bradley the tank at launch site, but because this is a beginner's guide video, and these are quite advanced missions to accomplish, we're not really going to touch on that in this video. And I'm also aware that trading with other players or buying weapons from players shops are other ways to acquire guns in Rust, but again, because it's so inconsistent, we're not going to be covering that today. Okay, so a little change of plans here. The plan was to get a base down and show you guys, you know, starting with the easiest way to get guns. But one of the hardest ways to acquire weapons has literally just fallen into our laps here. So that, that is an airdrop. And that is one of the ways that you can quickly get guns in Rust on console. However, it is also a very difficult and risky way to get guns because there will be a shit ton of people trying to get them at the same time. But anyway, aeroplanes uh, fly across the map and drop these crates every now and then and they come down really, really slowly. So that's generally bad news because it means that even if you get there early, there's always going to be a bunch of other players coming to try and get the loot at the same time. But you know, as a beginner player, I would still recommend trying to get to these airdrops because what you'll find is that even if you don't get the loot from the airdrop there's normally a bunch of fighting and sometimes you can just sneak away with a few bits and pieces a few a few bits of scrap uh, or maybe like a water pipe shotgun or some lot lower tier item but you know if you uh if you're pretty loot poor and you don't have too many items, too many weapons, then I would probably recommend, you know, even just running to these fights without any sort of weapon or even just with a bow and just trying to make a play out of nothing because then you don't really have anything to lose. Keep in mind, this is a full population server. So there's 100 out of 100 players in this server right now. So the plan is going to be to try and get this airdrop and then skedaddle into the little uh, outpost there. Okay, uh, so that is the fastest way to get guns in Rust. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, it's not normally that easy, dude. Wow. Okay, watch him beat me over the head with a rock and die. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't normally go that smoothly, to be completely honest. I would say that that's out of the four ways to get guns in this game. I would say that is probably one of the hardest out of the four, generally speaking. And you know, th these, these rankings that I'm giving are not, you know, hard and fast rules. Like some people might find certain ways easier than others. Okay, and this time, let's actually skip forward into where I have a base down. And we're ready to find some weapons. Well, find some more weapons, I guess. Since we already have a pumpy. A few moments later. Okay, so we have a base. <laughs> Just like that. The easiest way to find guns in Rust on console is to run along the road and loot boxes. 
That's what I thought initially until I really put it to the test. What I noticed pretty quickly is that yes, sometimes you get lucky and find a weapon in a box along the road quickly, but on Rust console edition especially, where there is much less road to loot from compared to the PC version, finding weapons this way is inconsistent and far and few between. In this demo, I ran along the road for a solid hour looting crates and didn't find a single weapon. Relying on weapons this way is putting your progress down to chance, in my opinion. So what's the solution? Well, with the components that I gathered looting crates and hitting barrels along the road, it didn't take me long to acquire enough scrap to buy a double barrel or a revolver from the outpost. I recommend these two weapons especially as they are researchable so you can craft them endlessly. Unlike the M92, the Spaz-12 or the LR300 which you can acquire from the bandit camp but cannot actually be researched to craft. So for those reasons, I believe that gathering scrap to purchase a weapon is the easiest method for beginner players to acquire weapons in Rust on console. And you're essentially killing two birds with one stone, as you're also looting crates along the road that have a chance of spawning low tier weapons like shotguns and revolvers. Okay, so it took me like, I don't know how long I was running around on the road for, probably a good hour or so on and off just running around looting boxes trying to find a weapon and I did not find one. And then the first run that I do up dome, I find a revolver. And, and hey, look, like I said, there is a big element of luck in this game as well. So I'm not saying that every single time you run dome, you're going to get a gun. You do also have to factor in that the monuments are going to be high traffic areas, especially at the start of a white. So they may not be the most suitable for new or beginner players. And also monuments such as the dome, launch site or satellite will require you to wear certain clothing to avoid radiation poisoning. So you do have to risk losing some clothing and armor to loot these areas. And let's be real, as a beginner player in Rust, these things can feel like an accomplishment to acquire. So you know, some people don't want to be risking their burlap head wrap at the dome, for example. And so you can see, like, I, I looted dome once and I found a revolver and a Thompson. And this is my first go looting dome this run. And the fourth and in my opinion most difficult way to acquire guns in Rust on console is to gank them from other players. Keep in mind that if you're trying to kill someone to take their weapon, it means that they have a weapon that they can shoot you with. So this is definitely one of the riskier ways to acquire guns in this game. And as a beginner player, it's probably something that you may not feel confident with. But that is the beauty of this game because when you make one of those plays where you have a double barrel and you kill some dude running an AK or a SAR or some higher tier weapon, it is just the most exhilarating feeling and it's what makes this game so great. So make sure that every now and then as a beginner player, you do take a few risks and don't worry too much about losing your loot because at the end of the day, you can use some of the strategies that I've talked about in this video to acquire those weapons again. Or if you followed my tips from earlier, you have the necessary blueprints to be able to craft them. And finally, taking down the patrol helicopter or Bradley the tank are another way to gain the highest tier weapons in the game, including the Holy Grail, the M249, which you can only get from killing the patrol helicopter. But like I said, as a beginner player, you probably won't be worrying about these two too much, except for the sense that they might kill you every now and then. But in terms of taking them down and taking their loot, that's probably a story for another day. All right, and there you have it, guys. What we've chatted about today, I think, are the easiest methods for finding guns in Rust on console. We didn't have a bad run. We ended up with a Thompson, a revolver, and a pumpy, and also some ammo and some decent armor. And that was all in a couple hours of playing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, remember to give the video a like. And if you have any questions, make sure that you post them in the comment section below. But otherwise, I'm well on my way to recording another episode of the Solo Adventures series, which I know a bunch of you guys really enjoyed. So keep an eye out for that in the near future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon.